Good afternoon. Thanks to Susan and Michael and all that put such love into this journal. I always love appearing here. Um, and I won't introduce this poem other than to say it came out of a, um, a, girl, a girl's vacation um, to Montego Bay about 10 years ago. And my needing to be enthralled by the music of the place and the clash of all the cultures. Um, there are a number of sections, which I'm not going to number. I'm just going to pause between them. Could you Movements. Page please? Yes, uh, it's page 31. And the title of the poem is Mobe December Score. You can learn a lot about a country from its dogs. Here, packs of scrawny pups wander the markets and alleys, so bony it hurts to look. Not too weak to hound the tires of motor tourists as if they can sniff the rentals out. Their yelps crescendo up the hillsides at night, rock walls of boombox reggae and auto horns scaling the mountain, invading island dreams. Birdsong accents the morning within these convent walls, just as crickets lit Mount Alvernia at night. Parrot tunes shower the grillwork veranda. Inside the marble stairway's cavern, a parakeet's cry. Then a cockatiel grazes my foot beneath the kitchen table, jostling Granny's canary from memory to join the bristle and edge of the daily score, riff of Christmas choir rehearsing below with bells, the sudden spray of last night's rain from the braids of a woman sleeping it off by the cathedral door, whisk, whisk of the addled custodian's broom beneath my window, above a starling's flight. Egrets keep the cows free from ticks. No wonder these odd couples be jammed by the roadside. A single cow untethered in a scrubby field beside the white bird, erect as if guarding some secret. Rollins driving, PhD mean pothole dodger on this island. Grace noting the chords of his diatribe on developers, all-inclusive resorts, and the Japanese wrecks that clog the two-lane coastal roads. It's Badman in Jamaica these days. Go figure. Finger the pop lump of bauxite ore at the shuttered mine. Metal shoots tottering across from Discovery Bay, chiseled on a stone where Columbus dubbed these Indies Spice Islands. Now, the ultimate jerk center's billboard script beckons new landing parties, toting scuba gear and sunscreen onto the white crescent beach. Doctor's Cove is calm this morning. Where are the Christmas winds? Above, absent the supersized cruise ships, sunlight serenades Montego Bay with almond leaves and mango, winding cassava and breadfruit vines above the turquoise sea. Back alley improv, by a bracelet from a poor man, ganja heavy among the tin shacks. Braid your hair, missus? Counterpoint to the Anglo-Saxon racket on the keys. Banana, pineapple, and cane sugar for rum. Coffee beans from the Blue Mountains. A swarm, bees to honey, a plague, rats to garbage, a storm, and the plastic leftovers flood from hillside culverts into the pristine bay. St. Anne Bay, where Bob Marley be raised, still raises a cry, something burning heavy in the air above this uprising. That was actually fun to write. <laughs> um, and, and I just want to take it down and not trying to remember the voices of my mother's three sisters, all of whom have died in the last decade. Their voices, the heat, the close of another August day. I rummage drawers of half sleep for the voices of my three aunts, lest time erase the special timber of their speech. The way Anne's laugh penetrates the distance of a decade of chatter, arriving in raspy bursts, gin fizz from a barkeep's wand. She'd hold a lucky strike in two fingers. Florence died next, but I can still hear that twang in her vowels, the wah-wah of a trumpet solo at the Sons of Italy dance. Last, let Jimmy's cigarello tones request a tango. 
My memory's the vessel, an old jar, lid punched with holes to let the fireflies live. Thank you very much.